What is up guys? Welcome back to another walking on water tutorial. We are sitting around the house today. It's a rainy day. My boat's in the shop now and something special is actually coming for the channel and for my little boat and I'm super excited about it. But we'll save that surprise for another time once it gets all done. So we're sitting around the house today and my youngest son, Kai, he's three years old, has been begging me to get out and go trout fishing. So I'm scrambling, looking around for everything because when I talked to the guys that are working on my boat, they said, hey, you can just leave everything in your boat. So I left everything in my boat. And so we have the rods. Obviously, if you can see behind me, we got rods. And so I'm looking for bait. And I was thinking in my mind, what's a cheap and easy way to get out and effectively target trout with my son? I'm looking through my tackle bags and I'm looking through my tackle boxes that I do have still here. Fortunately, I had a couple, so I have hooks, we have weights, everything, blah, blah, blah. But I can't find any trout bait. And so I'm thinking to myself, okay, what do they use for trout bait? They use power bait, they got spinners, spoons, tons of different kinds of baits that you can use to catch trout. They also use marshmallows. And so I thought to myself, wow, what's a cheap and easy way to go out and effectively target trout? So we grabbed what we had left of our Jet Puffed Marshmallows. And today in this video, guys, I'm gonna go over a cheap and easy way to get you and your family out catching trout and a very tasty way as well. Oh yeah, those are good. <laughs> All right, so how do we turn this sweet treat into trout candy? Hmm. We need to add a few things to it, guys. First of all, let's talk about marshmallows and why they make a good bait as it is. Marshmallows, as you know, they already make a trout marshmallow with a bunch of different scents and flavors on it, and they float. When you're looking for a trout bait, a small, a small uh, egg or a bead or power bait, you're balling them up so it floats up off the bottom, and that's exactly what these marshmallows are gonna do. Plus, they're malleable, you can move them around, like power bait, and it's a white surface. So we can actually manipulate this marshmallow to make it in to an absolute trout killer, guys. Let's get into how we're gonna set this thing up so we can get our kids out on the water and us and go bonk a bunch of trout the cheap and easy way. All right, guys, first things first, two Ziploc bags because we are gonna do two different colors of trout bait today. And we're just using stuff that I had laying around. I didn't have any of my Procure scents, but I do have Lunker Lotion Shrimp, and I guarantee the trout will absolutely eat this stuff up because, little secret, it's not Procure, which I'm a freaking Procure fanatic, but this Lunker Lotion right here, this stuff right here, absolutely destroyed Steelhead for me on one of my local rivers. So, shrimp, do not sleep on it. Next thing that we had just laying around is Procure the Kokanee Killer Corn Magic. And each one of these is a different color, and each one of these by Procure is absolutely an amazing product. I use them on my new recipe of corn now every single time. It's a go-to. Not only do they have bite stimulants in them, but they also dye your bait. And now, this alone, the Procure product, the Killer Kokanee Corn, could easily be a standalone dye for the trout bait on the marshmallows. But since marshmallows are dry and this is a powder, I was searching through all my stuff for my Procure, but I did have this Lunker Lotion shrimp. And so we're gonna actually add a little bit of that to the marshmallows so we can dye them up with our Procure Kokanee Magic. Let's get into dyeing this trout candy. Yeah. My wife and my daughter both said, oh, that's trout candy. Yeah, it's gonna be trout candy, guys. Better than a peep, and it's gonna look like one too. Okay, so open your bag, obviously. And take our marshmallows, and we're gonna put them in the bag. There's one. Okay. 
while I'm filling these up, guys, if you like these videos or you're learning something or you find them entertaining at all, please smash that subscribe button, like the video, also hit that bell notification, and share it out to your guys' friends. Sharing's caring. And it'll support the channel and you guys can be a part of the community. Also, go over and like and follow the Walking on Water Facebook page as well if you want to really be a part of the community. Join the Walking on Water private Facebook group, guys. It, I would love to interact with you guys there, talk to you, give any advice I can on fishing, and just shoot the shit and hang out. See you guys there. Now, we got these marshmallows in the bag, okay? What we're going to do now, this is, a, this is pink, right? But this is a heavy dose of dye, okay? So we're going to add a little bit of our shrimp, just like that. Get a nice little dab in there. Gonna add it right there as well. Okay, just like so. Okay, now we're gonna shake it up, we're gonna move it all around. Just like that until every piece is coated. I'm gonna do the same with this. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more to this one so we can get every piece of marshmallow just a tad bit wet on the outside. And if you're wondering, oh, isn't the marshmallow gonna start to disintegrate? These have binding agents in them that is gonna also help kind of seal back off that wet, sugary exterior of the marshmallow. Okay, now we're gonna do one orange and one pink. And I would separate them or label them, but since we're using just what we have around the house today, guys, we're, gonna, we're only using one flavor, but we're gonna use two different flavors of the Procure Magic Corn. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're gonna shake three or four shakes in there, just like that. We close the bag, make sure you close the bag. And we are gonna move these all around. Just like that, we're gonna come back to that one. We're gonna shake our orange in really fast. So some shakes all across the corn. I'm gonna get a little bit more because we need to add a little bit more to the pink as well because then we're gonna start mixing these ones up as well. We're gonna give them some nice shakes. Now guys, we have two amazing trout baits right here, but we're not done just yet. We're gonna let these sit for just a little while and we're gonna come back and inspect what they actually look up, what they actually look like as the final product. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, we've let our beautiful little marshmallows, our trout candy, brine up, cure up with our shrimp and our killer kokanee corn magic, baby. Okay, now, as you can see, we've got full color in our beautiful marshmallows, okay? These things float, they're super inexpensive, and they're super cheap, and I can only imagine you guys probably have some laying around your house. You don't need to go to the store and buy the $5.99 little tub of marshmallows to go out and bonk trout, and I'm telling you, these things will absolutely destroy trout. Let's grab a rod really fast, and let's show you what the set is supposed to look like. All right, guys, so we have our little trout rod here. And as you can see, I've got just a couple little weights up top that are gonna sit on the bottom. And this is where our marshmallow is gonna float up to, okay? We have our beautiful, smelly, sweet, and powdery little marshmallow that's absolutely gonna destroy trout out there on the lake. We're gonna grab our hook. Gonna go through the bottom of the flat side. Push it up the hook just like so. Right to the top with a little bit of hook just sitting out the bottom. And you can see that powder and that color is still sitting on there. And when that powder hits the water, it's gonna leave a nice little scent trail for those fish to track this thing down and come up and just smash it. These are by far some of the most effective baits you can use for trout, as well as you could also run it. 
You could also run it with the marshmallow up top. And if you want to be really high speed, turn that marshmallow around just like that. So the majority of it's hanging off the back. You have an open hook. You could hook a little piece of night crawler right on the end, just like that. Extremely effective, guys. You got to try this. Not to mention, it's extremely fun for you and your kids to sit here and throw some marshmallows in a plastic bag and then throw some scent in them, try different things, try new things. Maybe you come up with your own scent brine yourself and mix a combination of flavors together and that's what absolutely destroys them for you on your home lake. You never know. That's the fun thing about fishing, guys, right? You can use simple, inexpensive methods to get out there and be effective and have fun with your family at the same time. So guys, thank you so much for tuning into this walking on water tutorial. How to make your own trout candy trout bait, two different colors with scent. Look at all that bait that you can have for literally a few dollars, right? Yes, I know you have to buy the dyes right here and you would need a scent of some kind, but you do not have to utilize that exact method. You can do food coloring to dye the marshmallows, then you could throw some scent in there, right? Or you could use badass bait dye from Procure itself. All of those different methods would be extremely effective and really inexpensive. Also, you have a thousand times more bait from this big bag than you ever would if you just bought the little tub of marshmallows. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, this is a walking on water tutorial. I can't wait to see you guys out on the water. We'll catch you in the next one.